condensation reactions and hydrolysis reactions. So condensation is a formation of larger biological molecules called polymers from smaller molecules called monomers. And the byproduct of these condensation reactions is water. So smaller biological molecules, for example, sugars, in an organism's cells can form larger molecules like carbohydrates that can be used around the body. These biological molecules are important to allow the organism to survive. Condensation is a reaction that forms large biological molecules. The reaction releases water and bonds the smaller components together into larger molecules. The condensation of amino acids produces proteins. The condensation of two monosaccharides produces disaccharides, and then many disaccharides can form polysaccharides. And the condensation of fatty acids and monoglycerides produces lipids. So condensation reactions make bigger molecules from smaller ones. So some examples of condensation reactions are the combination of amino acids to produce proteins, the combination of nucleotides to make DNA, and the combination of monosaccharides to produce polysaccharides. So what is a hydrolysis reaction? Hydrolysis is the breakdown of large biological molecules into smaller ones. The smaller molecules can then be taken up by the cells and used for a number of functions. When an organism eats, it ingests large biological molecules, for example, carbohydrates. These biological molecules are important to allow the organism to survive. The molecules could be used in the cells for important reactions like respiration, but they are too large to be transported into the cells. The large molecules must first be broken down also. So hydrolysis is the breaking down of large molecules to produce smaller ones. This reaction requires water and it splits larger molecules into their smaller components. These smaller molecules like glucose can easily diffuse into cells or can be transported using protein channels. So what are the products of hydrolysis? It's kind of the opposite of condensation. So hydrolysis of proteins produces amino acids, hydrolysis of carbohydrates produces disaccharides and monosaccharides, where a disaccharide is two monosaccharides that are joined together. And the hydrolysis of lipids produces fatty acids and monoglycerides. So let's recap that. Condensation is a formation of larger biological molecules from smaller ones, and the byproduct of condensation is water. Whereas hydrolysis is the breakdown of large biological molecules into smaller ones, and this uses water molecules.